Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode, our third episode of Fire Emblem Three Hopes. We have chosen the Black Eagles as our house to uh, accompany. And yeah, we're going to continue on with the story from here. Hopefully in this episode we'll get some uh, some combat. But let's see what Edelgard has to say. Oh, wait, what? You're Never mind, now? Casper's talking. <laughs> That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion, Burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? No, nah, she was probably just sleeping away in her room. You know, finally peace and quiet. Wasn't able, you know, couldn't be bothered to leave her room now that everyone was gone. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. Of course you do, Ferdinand. Thank you, you for your support. Guard. And we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Now here's a, here's a little bit of trivia for you guys about Ferdinand here. But Ferdinand fancies himself as a rival to Edelgard. I don't know uh, how true that is, but I will I will say in every playthrough in which I've used Ferdinand and Edelgard, Edelgard has always been far superior. Yes, I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Do we have a crest? That'd be pretty interesting. I, I don't... We're probably going to have a crest. Oh, checked, all right. Sorry to say I'm we don't have a crest. Interesting. Okay. Strange. You definitely seem the type. You definitely seem the type. You definitely feel like the protagonist of something. I can't put my finger on it, though. Miss Purple Hair. You already met some of us in camp. I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. Oh, that's our mission. Okay. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down. And now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Interesting. Oh. And he's gone. <laughs> so it would seem. Right then. We better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I... I need to tell the professor... I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? You know what? Just for that, you're coming with us. Me. We're bringing her out into the battlefield. To break out my best. Leave it to me, Professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says We're going to raise an eyebrow. We'll raise an eyebrow. Hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean about that? Just look at Kaspar's father. Ooh, shots fired. Man shouts an order. It is so loud that the seas themselves part and the clouds retreat. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. Look, you're basically getting a direct order from your future empress. You and can't, you can't say no. You can't say no to that. In action. Ooh, okay. Express quite quiet. Quiet, confident? No, we're firing off a quip. If you set me loose out there, there won't be any bandits left for you. Yeah, there it is. Our cocky attitude's returning. We're just the cocky bandit. That's all we are. Oh, what are they having a little meeting about? Like, hey, put those guys to work so we can actually have some training? Is that what's going are, on? I have word from the knights. It is time. Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. 
About time we saw some action. Okay, all right. Looks like we're getting into our, well, I guess second or third, eh, our first real battle. Hopefully, well, hopefully one without tutorials. Lost sight of them. A shame to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. Why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? Oh. So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. He knows what he's doing. Right, of course. Listen to, we'll he said bloods, he's like, blood what? scent. You know, had like the nice, like happy at the end of scent there. We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. Professor, wait. Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Okay. <laughs> oh, did they find him? Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's uh -oh. far too dangerous. Uh oh. Wait, what is all this? <laughs> Bandits. Bandits are dead already? Dead by my hand. Huh. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Caspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? That's his dad's fortress. No, it just seems No, suspicious. not his dad's fortress, okay. You're something else, Caspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the kingdom and the empire, but that is no imperial outpost. It's not the kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. Oh, I like the way Petra thinks. She's like, yeah, let's get in there and kill them. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes, I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home. Right now. But the bandits might be inside, and they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles. It's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the cat's far way. So, so far, there's more votes for storming the castle than for not storming the castle. I like their idea. We're going to charge forth. If we manage to take out an entire We're going in. Post. This we're going in. I live for. We're the mercenary. We know what we're Since doing. Are you so gung ho? Oh, right. Since always. Are you are you saying that's an insult, Linhart? Are you saying that's an insult? This is not our decision to make, Professor Yuritsa. The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor. Are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? <laughs> and there's Petra, not understanding the language. <laughs> expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Hubert. Hubert is a lot nicer in this game. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. All right. So we must defeat the thieves. Victory and defeat. Uh, yeah, okay. So we just got to do all the victory stuff and don't let any of the defeat stuff happen. The route of important units such as the main character and house leaders will also result in defeat. So protect Edelgard and protect Shez. Okay. Well, let's see what we have here. So Edelgard's out on the field. Ferdinand's out on the field. And Huber is out on the field. I feel like... Uh, he's a monk with an iron tome. I think that would be pretty good. You know what? I again, I think we want to use. Can we swap? Are we not able? We're not able to change units. We're not able to change units. That's a shame. I really wanted to change units. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into the battle here defeat the thieves no defeat condition so we can just let everyone die 
So I think we'll start, uh, how? Oh, there it is. We'll go ahead and start our first real battle. Okay, assigning adjutants. Oh, okay. Press L to display the quick menu 2 and then L and Y. Interesting. We'll just skip through all of that. I'm not too worried. We can't do anything right now. There's the leader. So we'll take this guy out. Alright, so there's our main fortress. Or there's the first main fortress down. Alright, I think the base captain is good to go. Just take them all out. None of them are going to stand in our way. You thief, you think you can stand with me? <laughs> yeah, they uh, they don't stand a chance. General Crusher. Was that it? Oh, main mission start. Okay. So what do we want to do? Oh, there's a couple places to go. I, everyone, everyone just full full charge ahead. Alright, take out the man at the door. Oh, someone dropped a weapon? Let's pick that up. New weapon, new materials. Those are always nice. Alright, gatekeepers down. That should open the door up for us. Oh, and we get a nice little level up there, level four. You know, maybe we should switch to a uh, to a different character. All right, let's switch to Edelgard because, uh, well, she needs uh, she'll need some levels. Oh, fire magic. Okay, so Edelgard does fire damage. Units afflicted by burning will continue to take damage over time. <laughs> they may combust. Interesting. Okay, so now we gotta seize the uh, the bandits' K, or we gotta seize their base. Ooh, money, 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 money. Uh, base captain? Yeah, sure, why not? Ow, ow, get him off of me! <laughs> Oh, okay, so an, a treasure chest we're going to be able to open soon. But first, let's take out this thief here. My dude's quite annoying. Although, we are using um, Edelgard, which I don't think is the person we want to use for this. I got to remember, we do have, uh, like, this to use. Oh, chest and keys. Yeah, so steal the chest. We do have that we're able to use, so we got to remember that. Well, let's uh, go s try and steal that treasure chest. I think that's going to be the uh, best thing for us to do. Before seizing their base, we're just going to have Edelgard go all by our lonesome over here. No, pardon us. Excuse me. Pardon me. We're going to go uh, open a chest. You, Mr. Stronghold Captain. Mr. Stronghold Captain's almost dead. Mr. Stronghold Captain is dead. This chapel is now ours. Let's open up this chest. Open. Sesame. Ah, there we go. Oh, so they, they got our chest key. New access... Oh, there's accessories in this game. Interesting. All right. I'll be interested to see how... Or what those do. Let's take out this thief here as well. The knockback is quite far. So we'll need to be careful. Especially if we're trying to get armor breaks. Lots of people going down. What do we have here? Give me that item. New materials. Materials. Okay. Uh, this is a sword man, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we're not going to be doing as much damage as, uh, well, if we used a proper character. 
But uh, if you guys saw my Fire Emblem Three Houses playthrough, I like playing games like these in the way they're not meant to be played. You know, go up against uh, things that you're not supposed to do. Okay, that is ours. More base captains. All of these bases will belong to us at the end of the day. Look, just because you have a sword, why can't I hurt this guy? Please, just, just break his, break his armor. So close. I don't think we're breaking his armor. Goodbye, thief. Where is everyone else at? I have no idea where everyone else is at. We've just been rocking with Edelgard, running through enemies, decimating them. Certainly not what we signed up for. Let's see what's in the pot. Just some money. Just some money's in the pot. A couple more rooms to clear. Ooh, okay, so we just got a perfect dodge off, which is amazing. Did not expect, uh, well, a perfect dodge to occur. And Edelgard gets a level. She's now level two. Come on, magic goes up. Ma speed goes up, which is good. Luck goes up, resistance, charisma. I guess, okay, those are nice. But why magic? We don't use magic. We don't use magic. We use strength. All right. Let's get Shez back up in here. We're going to let her take care of uh, the final boss area. Look at the difference in damage. I just, I love, I love Chez's move set. Just that big tornado draws everyone in, doesn't send them flying away. Look at that. What are they doing? What are they doing? All right. Who's up next? Here. Is that Monica? She looks like an academy hey, it's Monica! Look at that! So for those of you who don't know, Monica played a... Are we going to be able to use her? If we're able to use her, I'm actually going to be so happy. Monica played a minor role in, um, in Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm not going to spoil that because, uh, well, it's a pretty decent spoiler. But, uh... I really hope we're able to use her in this game because it would be awesome. It looks like we might be able to. Are you here to rescue me? Yes, yes, we are, Monica. Quick, go to her. Where is she? Monica, how it is you Monica. My questions can wait. Take over. Thank you for saving me. Quick, let's go. Let's go talk with Don't Monica with uh, with Edelgard. Will make us wish we were dead. <sighs> so. Cro Kranya has not yet become. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see about some magic here. So we got these two. Oh, there's quite a bit to do. So I think we'll let. Um, we'll keep these. T well, we're gonna send Ferdinand. We're gonna send Ferdinand up there to attack. And I think if I'm controlling Hubert, we sh we should hopefully be fine. Defense orders. That's what we're going to want to do. Okay. So let's actually get some characters on her. I'm here to help. Every all of you. All of you guard. All of you guard. Actually, Chez, go attack them. You got some help coming. We'll be on our way. Uh oh. This isn't good. Get me out. Does this. Oh, it does. Okay, so Nosferatu. Dude. Dude is strong. Kinda. Maybe dude isn't strong. More Nosferatu. Let's get some more health up in here. Dark and magic affects, uh, oh, status helmets. Got it. 
You know what? Maybe, uh... Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to learn how to use magic in these games. Because magic is not something I used in the previous Fire Emblem Warriors I played. There's a thief that's retreating. We need... Okay, a thief is retreating. We're gonna have Chez go take out the thief. Ferdinand will guard. Edelgard is guarding. I think we should be okay. And over here, we should be able to take out both of these guys. Yeah. No, oh, not both of them. Both of them aren't dead yet. We got one guy left. There we go. Hubert coming in strong. Alright, let's switch to Shez. Looks like the thief is uh ready for ready for us. Where'd he go? There's our big tornado, my favorite move. No one gets to move because of it. The dash attack is very I'm gonna have to learn how to use that. Someone's being attacked. Okay, let's swap to Edelgard. Uh oh, things aren't things aren't looking too hot. This mysterious soldier, get out of the way! Don't touch Monica. There we go. I think... I think we're looking pretty good. I don't know if items get auto-picked up, so I got to remember to go pick them up. Let's stick to Monica. Don't let... Don't let Monica die. There's a bunch of enemies chasing after her. Right? Those are enemies? No, those are our guys. Our guys are supporting her. Nice. We've protected Monica. We should be safe here. I mean, I hope we are at least. All right. Who came in here and trashed my beautiful strong? Ranya. Okay, so they are two different people in this game, which means sadly Monica most likely died in three houses. I really hope we get to see more of Kranya. Kranya was a really underutilized character in three houses. Kranya made a single appearance in like one or two chapters in Three Houses, and I'm sad there wasn't more of her. That didn't. That actually did quite a bit of damage. Defeat Kranya. You know what? We're gonna let it happen. Chez, Chez, you do your thing. You do your thing. We're gonna we're gonna go back to Edelgard here. Uh oh, that's not the right button. What button was that? It's a battle worthy to be maimed. Kranya has been defeated. Where are the other guys at? What is Hubert doing? Ooh. Okay, we may... They're just pulling out all the stops right at the start of this game. All the stops. Everyone needs to get over here. Just about everyone is over here. You know what? Go, go take that out. Hubert, what is Hubert doing? Right then. Hubert, get over here. Get over here. We're taking out big boy. We need to defeat a wild beast. Okay, monsters with uh, are huge enemies that are quite unlike normal soldiers. When near a monster, its HP and weaknesses will be displayed at the top of the screen. Barriers, break armor. While the monster's armor is broken, press X to do a critical rush. Got it. Yeah, okay. You'll never it alone. Get me out. Are we just gonna decimate? Okay, so one, one health bar left for this. And I don't think... Yeah, axes didn't reset. So we may need someone else over here. 
Yeah, Chez, you're doing good. You're doing good. Just, uh, you take out that kitchen. <laughs> I know I told you to do it, but you take that kitchen out. We're actually doing pretty decent damage with Edelgard. Were we able to jump out of that attack? We were able to break its armor again somehow, which is nice. And the wild demon beast goes down with relative ease. Edelgard looking pretty strong. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay. Kronia retreated. Escaped. But still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. There we go. Stage complete. Basically soloed by Edelgard. S's all around the board. Premium magic herbs and some money. Some moolah. People get leveled up. Who leveled up a bunch there? Chez levels up. Speed, luck, and charm. All right. Oh, she's 18 speed. Who else leveled up? Edelgard is now level four. That was that's a pretty good one. Strength and magic. Jeez, if I can, I might use magic with her. <laughs> Hubert also levels up. Good magic level up. That's nice. Ferdinand also levels up. What kind of levels does he get? Speed, luck, resistance. Not bad. Not bad at all. Who was the MVP? Yeah, Edelgard was the MVP. Of course, of course she was. Also level five. Edelgard quickly climbing the ranks. I must get Another good level up. I don't know if the level ups are uh, the same every time or if they're like Fire Emblem, three houses and different every time, but some pretty good levels up from, from Edelgard here. I'm happy about that. Edelgard and her fighters already two star. Hubert and his monk is already two star. Shez is one star with the flugel, which is nice. Ability Hunter, so we get C plus in swords now, and Carpe Diem for the ability. We'll have to take a look at that. We also learned Wind Sweep. Okay, combat arts. Okay, I, I really want to take a look at those. So all those have leveled up too. Authority is level D. Axe Prowess is up one. The ability Spirited Seas. Faith one and trust abilities. And then Backbone and Authority for Ferdinand here. What did we get? Oh, okay. So we got a couple, couple different things. We got a Leather Shield here. Gives us some more defense, which is nice. The Venom Edge. A sword that inflicts foes with a biting poison. That would be fun to use. And it's a level two, which is nice. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. The Venom Edge is level 2, but the Iron Sword, this is actually pretty good too. Barrier Breaker and Boost Class Attacks. I have a feeling that those do exactly what they say they do. This deals more damage to monsters' barriers. Okay. And this increases damage dealt by class actions. Nice. And then this just poisons enemies. That might be nice to use. We'll probably use that on Petra when we get to use her. Then we get a bunch of uh, stuff as well. Well, we've been going on about 30 minutes here, so I think this is a good spot to end off this episode. Pretty action-packed, if I do say so myself. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did make it to the end, go ahead and leave a like. Comment down below if you are enjoying this game, if you think you'll enjoy it when it comes out. I know I am. I'm going to continue playing it, continue making videos on it. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.